What's up everybody, this is Dallas Stone here, and today in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to apply PBR textures in the EV engine in Blender. The very first thing you want to do is check to make sure that your scene is actually using the render engine EV. So to quickly do that, make sure in your scene you go to this tab over here called render and make sure that the render engine is selected to EV. Uh, some, by default most of the time it is set to cycles, so make sure that it's set to EV. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check out um, and make sure that your rendering mode is up to look dev over here. So select that, go to the drop down, and make sure that you're selecting um, an HDR environment that you really like. So in this example, I'm selecting this forest looking HDR, but you can select any of them. It really doesn't matter as long as you're selecting one of them. After that, you're going to want to make sure that you're applying um, the proper shaders right so this is kind of the hard part this is the part that not uh, everyone is familiar with um, so go to shading and now you're going to really see um, this is essentially nodes right for your uh, materials so this is your principal uh, bsdf shader and this is the output here uh, normally this is completely empty right so uh, you want to go to your materials here. You want to make sure that you add a new material if you um, if you want uh, to create your own material and put your own image in there. And make sure that you have surfaces that you use nodes. You have to make sure that this option is turned on. Once you have that option turned on, you're going to see this graph at the very bottom here when you're in the shading. The next thing that you're going to want to do is to get these nodes, these image nodes here, you're going to want to go to add and you're going to want to go to texture. Then you want to go to image texture. From there, you'll get this node here. So let me just do that as an example. Image texture. And then you want to go and search for your texture wherever that may be. So for me, it's in my project folder and it's in the image or textures folder. Once you have that, you just connect the color to the base color. Make sure that color is set to color, linear, and all these options here um, are set correctly. I'm going to delete that. So you're going to want to do that for your specular and your roughness if you have specific ones that you've created in Substance Painter, which from in my case I did. And the only difference here is instead of color data, you want to make sure that it's non-color because it's just a black and white image. So make sure that you have that set correctly and hooked up to the right areas. Now this is the last tricky thing here is your normal map. So again, you do the exact same thing as, with, as the roughness and the metal image. The only difference here is you're going to need to go find a normal map node. You're going to find it here. Go to add, you're going to go to vector normal map. Once you have that, you want to connect the normal map to the color into the normal map. Change this to tangent space. And then you're going to want to put the normal into your shaders normal here. Once you have that all hooked up, you should be able to see your result in your viewport. And it should look like how it, how it looks like in Substance Painter and in Marmoset. Hopefully that, that video helps you out. If it does, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Uh, follow me and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye now.